Well, hello everybody. It's me, Sarah, and I am giving you an update on my Orbera intragastric balloon that I had placed on uh, Thursday, March 31st, 2016. Today is Thursday, October 13th, and um, I started out at a weight of 188 with a BMI of 37. I am five feet exactly, and today it has been 28 weeks that I've had the balloon in, and um, I have to say it's been an everyday, um, I don't know if I want to say struggle, but every moment I have thought about losing weight, what I'm going to eat, it has been um, continuously on my mind. And I have worked really hard at this. I don't want anybody to think that having the balloon is going to solve um, your weight loss problems. It does still take work. I did put the work in and I have received results. Um, I have still been doing my small meals. I usually will have meat and vegetables. For every meal, a salad with some protein, um, and for breakfast, I can't deny it, I still do my Premier Protein Chocolate Shakes. I had tried some egg salad for a while, which was going fine, um, but I just ended up going back to my Premier Shakes. They are easy, and they get the job done, and it, it helps me with my... Um, my lifestyle. I just grab it and go and I'm done for the morning and at least I get something in the morning. I don't have to worry about you know trying to eat it. I can just drink it while I'm working. Um, so that's what I've been up to. I did not go back to the nutritionist. The last time I did a video I said that I had went to go see the nutritionist and she advised me to drink more water, eat smaller meals, um, pretty much all the basic things and um, I've been doing pretty well what I've been doing so I just decided I was going to keep on doing it and um, it has continued to work for me. Since my last video I was uh, 149.8 and I did have quite a bit going on, sorry, <laughs> I did have quite a bit going on since uh, then. Um, I've been out of twice, or I've been out of town twice since then, and unfortunately I had, um, a close friend of mine that passed away, um, after she was on hospice for quite a while, so that was really tough, and, um, the reason I tell you that is because life happens and there's always going to be things that come up, there's always going to be stressors in your life. There's always going to be fun things that come up, you know, and you just have to find a way to work around them. Um, I went to Florida to see a friend and um, really just kind of had to explain to her that I don't really eat all those breads and chips and English muffins and bagels and stuff like that. Like I just have changed my way of eating and that's how it is. And so you really have to put it out there that this is going to be your new lifestyle and this is going to be your change because you need to have those people supporting you and um, it just makes it easier. So while I wasn't completely perfect while I was there and while I was out of town twice, I still continued to, you know, make the choices. I made the choice to maybe splurge a little bit, but I also made the choice to get right back on it and to continue eating um, the way that I eat as my main food lifestyle. So with that being said, um, this morning when I got on the scale, um, I was 143.8. Um, so that is down, gosh, I should do the math before I do this. Um, 143.8. So that's down six pounds from August 27th. I think that is like six weeks ago. 
So the weight loss has slowed down, and I do think it's just because of things that have been going on in my life, as well as um, maybe it just gets harder to lose the weight when you've lost some weight and your metabolism changes. So I have increased my exercise, like I've been told to several times. Um, I did start using my Pilates machine, which I've had forever and never really used, and I really enjoy it. Um, so I've really been doing that for about the past maybe four weeks, um, and I'm going to continue doing it. I do like it, and I realize that it is definitely needed now that the weight is coming off slower. And also, I'm getting kind of flabby. My skin is getting a little loose, and where I had a lot of weight, um, there's just extra skin, like in my arm, it kind of looks okay from straight on, but here I have all of this, and I can't even believe I'm showing you guys this, but um, look how skinny my arm could be. Um, so I am trying to firm up. It's mostly because of that reason. Um, but either way, I have really enjoyed it. And um, so it got me motivated and I'm exercising now. Um, let's see. What else? Some things to talk about. Um, one of the questions was, do I exercise? And pretty much up to this point, it has been pretty sparse. I've kind of been here and there with exercise. Um, I don't go to the gym. I don't do stuff like that. So I was really just doing like lower exercises or weights. Um, but I wasn't very consistent up until just recently. Um, one other question that I got, somebody wanted to know if the balloon insertion was painful. No, it wasn't. I didn't feel anything. Um, if you want to look back at my very first videos, I go into more depth there. Um, another question that I got was, was it covered by insurance? It is not. It is completely self-pay. However, I was able to get my insurance at the time to pay for a portion of the medications and my lab workup. And um, somebody else asked if I like the Premier Protein Shakes. Yes, I do. I just can't seem to get away from them. Um, I prefer the chocolate ones. I have tried the vanilla and the strawberry, but the chocolate ones are definitely my favorite. They're just my go-to in the morning. I grab it and go. And uh, I'm getting good protein first thing in the morning. Um, another kind of question that I've gotten is, do I have any advice? Um, my advice is you just really have to be ready for this and you really have to want it. Um, you can't just get the balloon and think that it is going to do everything for you. It is a tool. It's not gastric bypass. It's not a lap band. Uh, it's not changing your stomach. Even though the balloon is filling your stomach, um, I believe I've said this before, I've never really felt uh, really restricted. Um, I have overeat on insta instances. And when I say I overeat, it's not like I'm eating, you know, three or four portions. I'm like overeating, which would probably equal a normal portion to somebody. And... Um, maybe instead of like four ounces of meat, maybe I had six and maybe I had like some extra vegetables and stuff like that. So even though I say I'm overeating, it's still a lot less food than what it normally would have been. Um, and I mean, my advice as well is just that you have to make it a lifestyle change because when the balloon comes out, um, you can certainly go back to your old ways and your old ways are going to come your old results. So you have to take advantage of the balloon to make that lifestyle change um, so that you can continue. And I feel like over this last six months that I have made those changes. My way of eating is completely different than how I ate before. I just don't eat the bread. I just don't eat the carbs. I don't eat the sugar. Um... I've mentioned the ketogenic diet before, and I haven't necessarily exactly followed it because I don't think I'm getting enough fat content in, but I've definitely done low carb, um, 
and I, I like it. I actually feel good on it, and I know I've had the balloon all this time, but I just don't feel hungry, and I feel satisfied with the type of foods that I've been eating. Um, when I order a hamburger now, I order it with no bun and ask for them to put it on lettuce. Or I get the steak with vegetables, um, the salad with, you know, protein, Caesar salad. And so those are just like my go-to meals. Every time I go to a restaurant, I look at the menu beforehand and I decide what I'm going to get. I ask the waiter, you know, questions. Does it, is it coated in flour? Is it any added sugar? So I really kind of train myself to make the right choices. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, thank you guys for all your comments. It's been like just amazing. This has been such an amazing journey for me and I feel so much better. I have slowly been, um, buying new jeans like every once in a while. I just went to Old Navy yesterday and picked up a pair of size 8 jeans. When I started, I was wearing a size 16 and those jeans were tight. I literally had to suck it in just to zip them up and button them. So I have officially gone from a size 16 down to a size 8 and I actually couldn't believe that the size 10 jeans that I had on just the other day that I pulled them off without even unbuttoning them. So it's definitely been happening. Um, so last time I said that I would try to wear something a little bit more revealing and not loose um, instead of my green shirt that I started with. So I'm generally a very modest person. I don't wear tank tops and I certainly don't go around showing people my arms because my arms have always been large and um, I've never worn a tank top but I thought this would be the best way to show you some of my results and um, I definitely have some little bit of stuff going on still you know it's there and like I said I do have some loose baggy skin, but it's definitely better than the bulk that I had before. So I am going to stand up and show you what I look like in my tank top so that you can see. Okay, so my arms, like I said, ugh. Uh, I have actually been thinking about getting a brachioplasty, um, but that'll be probably sometime next year. Um, I've always been pretty big in my back area, and I still really struggle with that area. It just doesn't seem like it wants to come down, but my um, thighs, my stomach, and this area has has really come down a lot. Okay, so there it is. I would never wear a tank top <laughs> ever in front of people and I'm definitely not ready to wear a tank top out in public right now, but you guys have all been following me and watching me, encouraging me, supporting me, so um, who better to share it with than you? <laughs>